Want to invest in an app? No. Want to invest <laughs> in an app? No. After our adventure with the Buna Haven in episode 100, this week we stay on Isla to sample a slightly peatier offering from the island. Bowmore, 12 year single malt scotch. But will we want more? Who knows? And as it's episode 101, we thought we'd take on a whiskey score in 101 and do a bit of research in how to score whiskey and then ignore it and come up with our own way. And if you're on social media, which I'm sure you are, I mean, come on. 2022, isn't it? Good Lord. And why not go that, and add you? us on stuff? <laughs> I did have to think about that. Whiskey and Things podcast on Instagram and at Whiskey and Things on Facebook and Twitter. And if you've been listening for a while now and you haven't given us a rating or a review, we would massively appreciate it if you could do that for us. Please, please, please. You're listening to Whiskey and Things with Nick Kent and Dave Giles. Welcome to episode 101. Or do I call say do I say 101? What are we saying here, Nick? What are we doing? Because from this point on, I need to know, are we doing episode 102, 115, 120, or are we saying 100 and let's do 10. Hey. Yeah, I think I think that's better, isn't it? <clears throat> Sounds yeah, cooler. Just rolls off better, doesn't it? Yeah, right. Yeah. Welcome to episode 101. I am Dave Giles. And I'm Nick Kent. Welcome I'm everyone. Dave- I'm glad we had that conversation while we were rolling. Yeah, yeah. We couldn't have done that before. There was no Absolutely chance. Absolutely not. We just, <laughs> Absolutely you know, not. we just log on to Zoom and we go straight away. Yeah. We don't chat, see how each other are, and then fake asking how each other are on the uh, podcast. That's, that's just not how it works. Yeah. No, definitely not. Definitely not. not. But, you know. why, why waste time yes. having that chat without recording? That's exactly. Know. You know. <laughs> uh, so how are you, it. Dave? Why, my, you might be able to hear my voice is on the edge. Oh, okay. Can you hear that? Does it sound like my voice is on the edge? I've been doing all the backing vocals thing in the last couple of days. So, uh, well, the last few times I've seen you, you've been singing loads. So I guess it's just normal for me uh, to hear you. I, like it that. feels like it's really kind of croaky today, but yeah. maybe it's not. But it, it feels it. Embrace it. Embrace yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I will do. I will do. Mm. So uh, yeah, well, should we? Are we cracking on straight away with a whiskey, or have we got anything else we want to talk about? How How are you? You all right? Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm all right. You know, cracking on, mate. Hey, hey mate, I just uh, noticed behind you. Yeah, I've got a big uh, shelf of whiskey. Yes, I know. Well, well that, but on that shelf, there it looks like there's a card. There is a card. We got a card this week, Dave. Oh, yeah. I think it's to us. Or was it just to me? <laughs> it doesn't say either. It just says congratulations. On what? Uh, on our, <laughs> well, yeah, I've got, I, can't, I forget people can't see. Um, on, on 100 shows, it's a whiskey oh, thing. Lovely. 100 card from uh, our friend Lindsay Mackay. Oh, you're the other one who's listening. Now we know. Now, now we, know. we know. Yes, I was. I was wondering. She I must was listen wondering. a lot. You know, Hello, it's, it's just, just her. <laughs> well, that's really sweet. Thanks for sending sweet. me one as well. Not Appreciate sure that. she even drinks whiskey, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yours is probably uh, uh, you know stuck in a post somewhere. That, that would be it. Yeah, that would be it. And it's for both of us. It's fine. It's fine. It's, it's on so the show. You, we, we call. Yeah, I mean, yours is HQ. We call that HQ. It's, yeah, fine. it's fine. Looks great next to the. Uh, Whiskey and Things uh, challenge coins on it, your shelf. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Little plug they look great. The they do look great. They quality look really product. Great. Quality product, those. High quality product. There's uh, two uh, two editions of uh, Whiskey and Things challenge coins. But there we go. Absolutely. Uh, uh, anyway, sure, sure shall, do, shall, we, um, shall we start drinking some whiskey? Yeah, yeah, let's crack on. <laughs> All right, then. This week's whiskey what you got for me nick we've got the Beaumont, 12 year old isla single malt scotch whiskey and we're going to use it for a bit of an experiment today because we're going to try scoring it and uh, yeah. we're going to discuss <laughs> <laughs> how we're going to score it we're going to discuss how other people score whiskeys and um yeah i was trying to link it in with you know scoring whiskey 101 like it was a yeah. college course or I something like that. like that but uh I like that. we're just you know researching ourselves so um it but, may yeah. bow more but do we want more <laughs> oh oh <laughs> see what i did there <laughs> I, I like that there you go maybe we should use that in the intro we'll see <laughs> <laughs> oh dear so we can rate yeah. these and uh, see which one costs more yeah. Oh, um, oh, oh good. excellent. At the end of this, will we be demanding no more? <laughs> oh, dear. No more, Nick. <laughs> mm. 
We shall see. Anyway, <laughs> the, the idea, Nick, behind scoring for me is that when we do our end of year thing yeah. or whatever, whenever we're reviewing what we've done, I always feel like it's a little bit like, uh, uh, and I look at all the names and I just got no idea. You can't remember what, what you I liked, th- what you didn't. To an ex- I mean, well, to no, an you extent remember the you good do. ones. You remember the really yeah, good ones. But exactly. You don't remember like uh, your, your mid table ones, do you? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So I was, I was trying to think of is there a way we could do this where, as, as we are doing it, our listener won't even know that we're, we're necessarily doing it. But we're scoring it, and at the end we've got it. We've got a score. We don't necessarily even have to say the score on the podcast. Mm-hmm. But me and you have got a record of it. It's on a nice spreadsheet. I'm, I might be able to even create an app that you and I can do it. So not only when we're recording, but if we're out and about and we're having a whiskey together, we could perhaps do a just quickly do it. Yeah, and it, and it all automates it, and it's on the spreadsheet, so we know. Yeah, there yeah. it is. A bit of a league. See what we like. See what's exactly. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, good idea. Good idea. So, yes, um, there's various ways of scoring. I'll tell you what, I'm going to play a little snippet because we had a little chat about this with Jeff Whiskey last week. On, oh, he did indeed. On 100. No? On 100. Getting ahead of myself there. <laughs> 100. 100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have worked for that anyway. So it doesn't matter, does it? Um, but yeah, I cut this out of the show because that show was going to be long. So, there we go. Here's a little chat from uh, last week. <laughs> Whiskey. I don't know if it was in in the episode we recorded earlier. Ninety nine. It was. We were we were talking about potentially, and I'll, I'll ask your opinion on this. We're going to potentially start a scoring system from episode one hundred and one <laughs> onwards. And Nick said the issue is we like everything. <laughs> we think our score. No, might the end issue up. was I've got enough to do <laughs> rather than you know. Starting a scoring oh, it's system. Always, it's always moaning, I thought about it, it before. It's you know, moaning. I've got my little book when I'm. You know, meant to be writing down notes and scoring it. And I was just like, nah, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. You think after 100 in. episodes, you know. I personally have got a lot of flack for doing scoring. Quite a lot really? of people have said you can't compare it. And of course, a £100 whiskey is going to be a 20 odd quid one. But I, I include um, value, value for, for money. money. Yeah, that's what we're talking that's about. Why I've as got well. some stupid number. But it's, I think they're really good to compare whiskeys against each other for your own personal preference, at least. But yeah, lots of people say you can't score a whiskey. Yeah, a category for how it makes you feel inside, how excited <laughs> it makes you. You know, because you know, looking at the bottle, just vibe. Even if it's not, maybe. Oh, he's. It he, I've good. got his juices flowing now, haven't yeah, I? Yeah, you've he, now got you, my juices. No, no, you haven't. You, Jeff has. Jeff has. <laughs> Jeff has got my juices. I've got flowing. your juicy feets flowing. Oh yes, I um, like that though, Nick. That's a great idea. How does vibe. it make you feel? Vibe. Yeah. Yeah. You got that vibe. The heebie-jeebie. Ooh. Mm. Anyway. That's a but, good cat. Uh, All right. Okay. So pr- value for money, vibe. Like it. That's too I think we can come up with another name. But yeah, that kind of thing. We'll come up. We'll work that one out. The whiskey. Papal. Papal. Well, that gives uh, some thought. So p- yeah. some people don't like scoring systems. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. Because some people think, well, the more expensive one is going to be, you know, higher score, but not necessarily. I don't, you know, that's, uh, that's no. not necessarily true. I feel like we could factor that into our scoring system, though. Yeah. I think okay. there's a few ways you can factor that in. What? Oh, the underdog score. Well, perhaps. Ooh, or just, that. or just did it live up to your expectation score? Oh. Because, you know, so, uh, I think a price will inform your expectation of a whiskey. So therefore, a lower whiskey may get a higher score because of that. And I think that's fair, perhaps, or not. Who knows? Expectation. Mm. Expectations, yes. Worth the damage score. Worth the damage is definitely oh. should be a question. Is it worth the damage? Worth the damage. Yeah. All right, so what? Are, what <laughs> my my thought process on this thing? So first of all, do, do we want to do you want to talk a bit about this whiskey first, or are we just drinking it and then you're going to no, tell me we, more we, about it? We kind of maybe come up with what like a, a skeleton, and then we uh, then we almost test it on the bow more. Um, right. I like so this. another way we've got right. I've got this little book here. It's a whiskey yeah, exchange um, notebook, and it's basically uh, they got a bit. of... It's pretty cool. You got like stuff about certain whiskeys and how to drink it and. All, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, has a little tiny two-page bit in here about scoring whiskey. And they recommend... I, I got one I of these. You got one of those too. There you go. <laughs> I do. There you pa- go. Look. Page 55, mate. Page thank 55. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you to the to the hymnal. I think Rish bought Excellent. us these. Thank you, he Rish. Did. Thank Rish. You. 
Risky scoring. Yes. Here we go. But um, should, we take, should we take it in turns to read think, a bit? Shall yeah. We? I think this is quite a uh, popular way of doing things, where you, you end up with a, a score out of a hundred. Um, there's right. four categories: nose, palate, finish, and overall impression. All earning twenty five points. So, yeah, so yeah. So nose. Uh, while the nose is a good indicator of the flavors to expect, it is not as important as the palate or finish. Is what they are saying here. Mm. So mm. yet, yet they give it twenty five. It still has yeah. the same amount of value as the palate or finish, which I think is part of my issue. Yeah, you know, you can't say you can't say it's not as important, but give it the same amount of. I think so. I think no, but it's the introduction for me. It's the introduction. You take a whiff and you're like, it, it's almost like the starter. But it dinner. says it's not as important. You, you know, they're, they're, that's a con conflict of interest there. Not conflict okay. of interest. That, they're, they're contradicting yourself. They're, they're, con they're, they're contradicting themselves by saying it's not as important, but it's got the same amount of points as the palette and the finish. Okay. Do you not agree with that? Oh, no, I see what you mean. I thought the same thing when I read it earlier. Good. Right. Um, but yes. Next thing is palette. Is the whiskey delicate or strong? Straightforward or complex? Look for the key flavours. Do they change when you add water? There should be no dryness or bitterness and no off notes. Okay. That doesn't really help you how to score it, though, does it? No, it, it doesn't. I was thinking that as well earlier. Well, you know, some people <laughs> might like dryness or bitterness. Yeah. There should be no dryness or bitterness. But then some, like, you do get some which dry your mouth. Which some people yeah. like. That's why some people go for... Is tannin the same as dry mouth? Or is that just a texture in the mouth? What do you reckon? I'm not sure. But you're right. Some of the red wine finishes we've had do dry your mouth. and that, Some do. people like that. Yeah, some I like people it love sometimes. Not always. Not always. Yeah. Not always. What have we got here? Finish. The most important element. Mm. Uh, the finish shows the overall complexity and balance of a whiskey. Uh, once you've swallowed the whiskey, uh, what is the overriding character? Do the flavours persist or do they disappear quickly? Again, mm. doesn't really give you an idea of how to score it. An no. overall impression, consider the balance, complexity and price slash quality ratio. Are the flavours and aromas in harmony? La. No single element should dominate. Complexity is a valued element in whiskey and not all whiskies have it. Hmm. 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 Well, they've got some other stuff here. They've got a couple of points here. It says uh, some things to bear in mind, which I thought was quite interesting. Um, always have a benchmark whiskey in mind when you uh, when you score. Whether it is a particular expression, for example, Glen Farkless 15, when you're tasting other Glen Farkless whiskies, or you consider it to be a benchmark example of a certain style. For example, with Nardbeg 10, when tasting Isla Malts. Interesting. Uh, hmm. And um, don't be too quick to lavish high scores. Uh, this is quite important, actually, I think. Uh, it takes time to recognise a truly exceptional whisky when you find one. So don't hand out top marks too quickly. Wait for the really good bottles. Otherwise, you'll find your tasting book has too many high 90 scores. Save the really high scores for the best whiskies. Which is another reason why I've always, I've always wanted to mm. wait a while. Mm. But, uh, I think we're I think we're there to I think we're at a point to start doing this, Nick. I really do I think, think after hundred shows there. and probably yeah, well, hundred and fifty plus whiskies. Odd whiskies, exactly. Um so my my if logic not, who cares? Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. My logic here is that we have to try and standardize it a little bit, is that we just have a load of yes no questions and each every time a a, a question gets a yes, mm -hmm. it gets a point. And there may, in, in order to, to help try and differentiate the whiskies a little bit, there may have to be a question or, or, or something that where you also add five bonus points, a bonus points bit. Right. Um, where we you, you can say, actually, for me, I want to give this four bonus points or five bonus points or no bonus points because it was just all right. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Just yeah. to kind of help push it, push ones up further up like they were just talking about. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, we have... I've put five categories down, right? We, yeah. we can add categories. We can take them away. Some of them yeah. might be the same. Some of the questions may be relevant in both categories, in which case, ask the question twice. If it's that important to mm -hmm. us, we should have, you should get two points in two different categories. I can see, yeah. This thing's going to evolve, everyone. We're just going to chat through it today right. and have a little go. So let's so talk some of this, shall we? Yeah. And uh, we can go I through mean, things. He's already out. Really yeah. He's yeah. already poured. poured. Half past five on a Monday. Yeah. Oh, oh! I've had this bottle for about a year, which is why there's. Have uh, you now? It's quite a uh, 
quite Actually, big on. Quite big on. That's quite a deep uh, little cork pull we just did there. It, it really is. So my categories, Nick, and, and, and feel free to disagree or, or suggest other... I've just forgot. Why didn't we just start with, like, I know we're going to talk about it later on, but we need to make a note of what the cork was like. Well, that, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm saying. We should start with the visuals. And I think... Oh, you're completely we're, we're, correct. Vi- vis- yeah. Vi- visuals may be, or visuals or uh, product. I don't know. I don't know how, how it, visuals might be the wrong word. But, you know, is the bottle nice? Are we a fan of the branding? Is there adequate information? What's the cork like? What's the cork pop sound like? Now, right, there might be times where we don't get a, an answer to that yeah. because we don't have the bottle. So yeah. that's yeah. something we've got to factor in, yeah. um, perhaps. But... Uh, I think there's stuff that we find important, right? When we we're, we find it as part of the experience, yeah. So it should be part of our score. Oh, absolutely! I finished off my Port Charlotte you bought me for my birthday the yeah. other day, and I was I like washed the bottle out and stuff, and I'm just looking at the cork and the top, and I'm just like, this is fantastic, you know? Yeah. That is a beautiful bottle. The cork's nice and big and chunky. I was just like, I kind of just wanted to put it on my well, I've put it on my windowsill, you know. But, uh, oh, nice. It's a massive, it's a great spare cork. I don't know. It's a lo- It's just a lovely experience holding that bottle and opening, you know, taking that cork out. So that would get bonuses for me, I think. All right. Okay. So I'm going to add bonus to each of the categories. I'm going to add bonuses. Actually, I think that's a good shout. Right. So I've got four questions in visuals. Do we want to add any more? I've got, is the bottle nice? Yeah. Are we a fan of the branding? Mm-hmm. Is there adequate information on the label? That's a big one for me. I know it is. Yeah. Uh, what's the quality of the cork? Or do, sorry, do we like the quality of the cork? Do we like the cork? Should be, yeah. Do we like the cork? It's got to be a yes, no question. Some don't have corks. Well, that may be getting no, no bonus point then. Do well, we no, want a cork? I don't know, because we've talked about the fact that Westland bottles don't have a cork. Okay? But it does disappoint me. It does it do- disappoint me. No, it does, for me, it, it doesn't. Because I know some don't have a cork, but it's a beautifully machined, like, yeah, I see your point. Screw top. Yeah. You see what I mean? It, has to be it, doesn't, really, it's it's, a it still doesn't feel cheap, does it? It still feels no. like... It feels no. chunky, and it's a nice clean, and it's been machined lovely, and it all meets up. And that is a right. really nice way of doing it. So right. maybe so, so, not so, even we, cork, like opening. Do we like the bottle top? Yes. Or the opening? Do we like yeah. the opening? Opening. Ah, there it is. There do it we is. like the opening? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then bonus, right? So we got we got, which is up to five, which gives us... A total of nine points for the visuals. Oh, that's horrible. No, no, it's fine, because I can stand... <laughs> Nick, I'll be able to standardise it. I'll be able to do some sums and standardise it. It doesn't matter. But we're saying that the, the, the visual is... I mean, maybe we only have three bonus points for the for visual. Does it need five bonus points? Oh, I don't know. This is all getting very complicated very quickly. No, it's fine. It, it, it won't be. Right. It won't be. I say we go three bonus points for visual. Three? Oh, okay. Up to three bonus points for the visual, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, all right. why, why so, did I say yes to this? So uh, let's let mate. Let's do right. let's, 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 let's do it with a Bowmore, shall we? Let's uh, do our visual mark with a Bowmore. And in future, listen, we won't be doing this for every bottle. We'll do no. this as we're going along, and yeah, it'll be what's that, that'll be. be part of it. So we'll we'll just be making notes of this, and then it, it will happen, right? But and every now and then we might go, oh, that was a high scorer, yeah. and and we'll say that was a really high scorer at the end. Anyway, so Nick, is the bottle nice? Talk me about the bottle of Bowmore, please. The bottle of Bowmore, it's pretty uh, standard, really. Um, it's a clear bottle. Uh, the cork is, I'm sure it was more right. impressive when I opened it fresh. Um, clear bottle. It has like some little um, kind of indentations and stuff on there. They're very proud of like their vaults and stuff. So they've got like little raised lettering and stuff talking about their number one vaults, which I'll go into later on. Um, the information's there. They've got a bit of tasting notes on the back. It's just a classic looking bottle. It's not extravagant. It's it's, it's done well. All right. So you know. yeah, uh, how are you answering then? Is the bottle nice? Uh, that's the issue. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. A, it's fine. It's fine. So what's, it's how many fine. points am I giving for the bottle? Actually, they have three. Well, no, no. That's, that's <laughs> well, no. The, this is my point. It's just a yes, no question. Is the bottle nice? It's nice. Okay. It's, it's not amazing. But it's nice. Are we a fan of the branding? Um, I wouldn't say fan, but I would... It uh, doesn't offend me. No, I'm not a massive fan of it. It doesn't do anything for me. It's not giving. It's not making me go, oh, yeah, I like the look of that. Yeah. It doesn't stand out. 
It, it, I mean, it's it's functional, but I'm not giving it a point for it. Yeah. You can kind of see the glue on the, if you look from the back. Yeah, well, it's just a bottle, so we're, you know, I'm, I'm really complaining about, I'm nitpicking nick pick, nick there. You're nitpicking. Uh, God, that's such a great expression if you can say it. You're nick picking. picking. Yeah. I love that. All right. Is there adequate information on the label? Um, they have their standard kind of, uh, you know, our signature distillery style of peat smoke. Citrus and vanilla. So yeah, they give you some. Uh, oh, perfectly balanced at twelve years old. They give you some a uh, little bit of information about their vaults, which they're very proud of. So yeah, there's a couple of tasting notes, and that's it. Really, there's not much, but it does come with a box. So there's a lot more well, information. That's part of it. On yeah. The box. I mean, oh, well, maybe we should change this question to: Is there adequate information on the label or, or just packaging on the packaging? on the packaging? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, and and are you saying there is? Yeah, I'd right. say so. Yeah, it's good information. They they got a lot more on the website, which I like. Which I thought about maybe adding into a, like like. Oh, we can, Is there we extra can do information? Is there? A, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Um, we can do that. But it's nicely embossed, and it's got some nice little uh, kind of copper embellishments and stuff. So yeah, it's got some nice stuff. Do we um, like the opening? Well, it was. It works. I can pour it. Does yeah, it feel good? Does it yeah. feel sturdy? It's fine. It's look. It's a. It's a plastic top to the. Uh, Cork, right. which is which is fine, you know. So it's their entry level, as it were, so of the core range. So, all right, so we'll, you won't we'll be expecting too much. And, and are you giving it any bonus points at all? I'm not giving that bottle any bonus points. I think it gets, it's got. I mean, it's a nice bottle. It's got adequate information on the opening's good. Yeah, I, I, no, it doesn't need bonus points. It doesn't need bonus points, does it? And I think that's... There's no wow factor. And exactly, the, the bonus points are for the wow factor. And yeah. I don't think that bottle has wow. It's, it's just, okay. Yeah. All right. So that's the bottle. There we go. What did I give it? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter at the moment. It doesn't It doesn't matter. Are you making the score? Because I haven't yeah, no, done anything. No, no, no. I'm doing everything. Oh, that's, my, that's my point. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. You're listening to Whiskey and Things. These British people talk funny. Smell. All right. So the questions I've got for smell, Nick, right? And again, there'll be bonus points, but these. this is the, this is the basics. Number one, and it goes without saying. Here it is. Would you like a scented candle of it? Oh, let, let's just go through the questions first before yeah, we that. actually do it. Yeah. Well, uh, are, we, are, we, are we happy with that as a question? Yeah. It's our, uh, it's our uh, little uh, it, thing, it's isn't definitely, it? It's so, definitely something we always say. It's definitely um, something, yeah. D- does it remind you of a special place memory? Because I think that's part of, I think that's a nice, when that happens, it's a nice thing, isn't it? It's like, it oh, is Oh, yeah. Nice. That, yeah. So that should get a point if it does. Yeah, because stuff like um, some rice give me that pickle vibe and it reminds me of American burger restaurants. You like, love it. You love some, it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, exactly. Barbecues, all that. Yeah, oh, great. Yeah. With regards to individual nosing notes, you're picking out, and that's a horrible expression. There's got to be a better way of saying it. Anyway, <laughs> um, are they things you enjoy eating or smelling? And I know that kind of goes with the point before, perhaps. But I know what you mean. Some people get a licorice note, but I don't like licorice. You know? No, but you might like so, it in the whiskey. But you know, it's, you it's, might like it in the whiskey. Yeah, it might not ruin the whiskey for you. But is it a, is it a smell? Is it a thing you're like, oh yeah, I love, I love candied apples. Some people don't like that PT iodine thing. No, exactly. You know? That's a big exactly. That is a biggie. That puts people right off. So you I know, think that's, that's a good sticky yes pasta, no, right? A sticky pasta smell um, and right. taste. Funny enough, but we'll do that later. Um, does it feel like an experience? The smell, yeah. Just the smell, yeah. I think it's important. Does the smell feel like an experience? Does it? Does it feel like? Yeah. Oh, this is a, this is a treat. Yeah, that's nice. a good question. Yeah, absolutely. And and the, and the other one is, does it make you say, "Oh my," or I, varieties <laughs> of that? I've uh, I've called that the George Takai test. Uh, oh, there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. The, the People George don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, George Sakai is the actor who played Sulu in the original Star Trek series. That's his uh, little catchphrase. Oh my! Oh so, my! Does it give you? All the right. George so that, that, that's that was oh my, my starting point, Nick. Uh, but do you have any other questions you think are worthy of a point with, with regards to the smell? Only think- if it, like if it's too much ethanol, if, you know, in terms of. But again, that would matter what glass you're in or what uh, your smelling technique. Whether you got your mouth open. Um, I don't know, really. How could we do that as a yes or no? Are we doing having? Are we having a takeaway a point? 
Uh, mm, no, I think we should keep everything positive. We don't positive, want, we yeah. don't want to be start getting into like minus points. Yeah, well, I feel it's, like if if you get that bad ethanol thing, you're not going to give it a point for it. Does it feel like an experience? It's gonna, it's not going to get those points, is it? We both think the nosing is important. I enjoy nosing. Forget what the whiskey exchange. Oh yeah, I can nose a whiskey right? all night. If it's yeah, nice. me too. Yeah. Me too. So I think it should have f- up to five bonus points just on the nose. Yeah. Okay. I think that's. I think that can really. Be, so going uh, up to now eleven or something. something so nice yeah, that would, that, that, that would be that would be a total of ten points a maximum for the nose. Okay, All that's, right, that's so good. Should, should we try it with a bow more twelve then? Yeah, sure. <laughs> what well, I just was. No, I wasn't really. Anyway. Well, no, we've got to ask the, answer the questions now, haven't we? We were just choosing oh. our questions. Oh, I Remember? see. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. 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 So, this would you like a scented candle of it? I would. It's very pleasant. It's fruity. It is really pleasant. Do you know what, Nick? This actually smells a lot like the scented candles. I've got that here. Oh. It does, doesn't it? Our prototype scented candles. Ours is a bit more perhaps bit ours more a little floral s- and a bit yeah. more uh, orchard. Oh, I'm sniff testing two different things here. <laughs> this is a great test for the candle, too. <laughs> it's a great test for the candle. But it does, you know. Would you uh, want a whiskey of this candle? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm going to say yes, I would like a whiskey scented candle. I of would this. definitely like a whiskey scented right. candle of this. So uh, that's a point each. Right. Does it remind you of a special place memory? Um, just me standing behind my bar, really. <laughs> but, then, but, <laughs> but is that a special place or is it a good memory? It has been for two years. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not getting that personally. So I'm not going to give it. A, I love the smell, but it's, that's not giving me that. Oh, it just no, reminds me it's of. It's not kicked me on the memory. No, it hasn't no. given me a memory. Um, with regards to individual nosing notes you're picking out, are they things you enjoy eating or smelling? Right, so that now we can talk about that. Yeah, side some of definite it. fruit stuff in there. There's definitely fruit stuff, yeah. and, like, and, and um, p- pineapple cubes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, there's a kind of caramelized pineapple for me yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's one of my favourite things in the world. Oh, Ugh. don't. Ugh. So I think we're both saying yes on that one, aren't we? Yeah, I know it's dried. Because you know the dried um, pineapple you can get in bags now? Oh, yes. Dehydrated. That's what this yes. is. And it's oh, one of my favourite things. Yeah, this this has got a real um, oh, yeah. candy, sh- oh. candy shop, old school candy shop vibe to this, isn't it? Yeah. Pips. Millions. <laughs> Didn't have those. Yeah, had pips. No. Does it feel like an experience, Nick? I, I'm going to say, for me, it does. This I could sit here and do this all night long. You know what? Yeah. I mean... I'm like, oh, this is really nice. I'm liking it more than I've liked it the whole time I've had it. I think maybe I like... It's well, we'll get into it later. Maybe I like the smell more than the taste, but we'll get into that. That um, is interesting. Because I, I, that's why it's lasted so long, because I haven't been going back to it. Right. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But the smell is... Yeah, I'm, I'm very much enjoying this. What was it? It's an experience, it, isn't it? It is an experience. Is it, I'd say it is an experience. But has it made you say, oh my... It hasn't. I haven't. As soon as mm. when I first nicked it, it didn't go. Oh yes, it was good, but it wasn't an oh my. I think that's a special point for very I special kind of, smelling whiskies. Yeah, again, it, it, it's giving me the oh my now, when it might not have before. I'm going to give it an oh my. Oh, some def- variation. Yeah, we'll I'm going to give it a pass the... on the George Takai test or Takai. Okay. However, okay. I think it's Takai. Takai. And, how, uh, and yeah. do you want to give it some bonus points? You can go up to five. No, I think well, I've been generous with the. Uh, I might I'll give it one. You gonna give it one? Um, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it one on the nose. Cause I, I don't know whether the old my should be the bonus points. Well, I think that's another bonus. I think that's a bonus point question. Hmm. Oh, it's up to you if you if you wanna if you wanna have that as. No, nah, we got a, it. We got it at ten, haven't we? No. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Give it. Give it two bonus for me. You want two bonus? Yeah. Give I'm it gonna, two I, bonus. I'm gonna give it one bonus point. I think, it's, I think it's very pleasant, but it I want to say, pleasant. I really want to say. But I'm really enjoying point. sniffing it. And as well, it's meant to be peated, but I'm not really picking much of that out. Well, the thing is, I got it when we first opened it. It's another one of those, but when you just leave it for a bit, I think mm. it's so important when you have a peated whiskey. You let it aerate. You just let it, yeah. I'm getting some yeah. apple now. Oh. Some green apple sweets. Oh, yeah, that's Lovely. so much fun. So actually, do you know what? I'm going to give it two bonus points. Oh, look at that. It's gone back to it. Right. Right. Next category, in the mouth. Very important one, this. Very important one. And, and we Make have sure to really you put it this in. In your mouth. And in not your mouth, else, listeners. Exactly. Right. Um, so, Nick, we're, we're going to just. Test, ag- wouldn't it? We're going to agree on the. on the <laughs> In the bum. We're going to agree on the questions. 
first, but and then yeah. we'll answer them. Right. So I've got. Does it feel good in your mouth? All right, here we go. Oh, right. right. And, yeah. and what I mean by that is, you know, you know, like yeah, it's the mouth feel. It's, but does but it burn when, too much? I love it? it when it explodes in my mouth. So that's one I really want. Right. So yeah, 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 does yeah. it feel good? Sometimes it doesn't feel good. You know. Like, right. Okay. Are you comfortable with the alcohol level? Because mm -hmm. I think that that can be a yes, I am, or no, that blew me away. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Therefore, I wasn't really tasting it. A simple one. Does it taste good? Just a good. You know, just a, just a good. Some of Does us aren't very good? good at the the tasting notes and picking stuff out, but we just put it in there and we're like, I like that. It tastes good. Does it taste good? Yeah. Is it easy to drink? Yes. Would that link into the uh, alcohol level? Maybe. But uh, well, maybe. Well, then we get two points if it's good on both. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. I think because it is important. I think it's a kind of category where it should have multiple questions. Right? These that, are pretty that big may ones, Sometimes yeah. mean the same thing, but. Not necessarily. <clears throat> Would you like another sip? How quickly are you drinking this whiskey? Would you How like another sip? How fast is it going down? Exactly. Do you enjoy the aftertaste? Mm. The finish. The finish. See, see I'm. See, this is the thing, Nick. I am putting finish in this category. Do you think that's wise or, or wrong? Because yeah, I think games, so. I think, I think so. I think they kind of go in the same thing. I personally. think so. It's all in the mouth, you know. Yeah. Things like, uh, I remember not enjoying the Connemara because it left an ashy aftertaste, an ashy finish. But I think it's still all in the mouth. I think finish gets too much of a, gets too many points. I wouldn't give it a whole 25 points like that. No, absolutely. You know. And do you know what? I've added, I've added another question, Nick. Yeah. Would you like another glass? And that's different from would you uh. like another sip? Because sometimes you do want another sip and you get to the end of your glass and you're like, that was enough. And, and, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad whiskey. It's just sometimes you only want one glass. And I actually think it's yeah. worth having a point for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do want another glass, I think that's Not, worth having a point. And if you really like it, you, you want to save it as well. It doesn't mean that you don't want another, you know, because you don't want another glass, but you're like, you know, that's really nice. I'm going to save that. That's for, yeah. when, that's for when these people come around on my, you know. Or is, would you like another glass? Oh, yeah, I will. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't describe be, that very well at all. It can, I no, I know what you mean, though. Because you it could be, would you like another glass now? Or would you yeah. like another glass in the future? Yes, yeah. I would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. And then bonus. I think I think potentially we want to have a few more bonus points on this. Up to seven, I think. <laughs> Where did you pull seven from? Well, we went had three bonus points earlier. So that rounds up bonus points now up to 15. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it, it is a, again, it is a big one, the in the mouth. So... Seven yeah. is very simple, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> right. So shall we do it with let's this go. Let's go Does it feel bit. good in your mouth, Nick? It does feel good in my mouth. I feel like I want to answer all these questions at once. It feels quite, it's not got a lot of texture to it. It's quite, I'm going to use the word thin, but I mean that um, not like, you know, derogatory way. Um. Do you know what? I think we should also have a, a George Takai test on this as well. Question: yeah. Does it make you say, oh my? So I'm going to add that into this as well. Hey, why not? It can be used in many it can areas. Be used twice, exactly. Mm. And, and it, does it feel like an experience? You know what? I'm going to, I'm, and actually then I'm going to, yeah, I think they're, that they're all valid questions. Am I comfortable with the alcohol level? Yes. Yes, Very. me too. We're at 40% yeah. here, everyone, which is the bog standard. I feel like I should tell people a bit about this whiskey as we're going through. But, uh, well, yeah. yeah, normally, normally, as we, we said, normally we would, but yeah. we're focusing on... Yeah, I might do a little roundup at the end to, with yeah, all the details, think, otherwise yeah, we're going to yeah, be yeah. all over the shop today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, at the end, if we want another glass, we'll have another glass <laughs> and exactly. we'll, uh, we'll talk about it a bit more. Exactly, right? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I mean, what did you, what did you decide? Does it feel good in your mouth? It does feel good in the mouth. It is pleasant. It's a little bit on the thin side. Um, well, yeah, that's why I'm not going to say it feels good in my mouth. I think it feels okay in my mouth. I don't think it feels good in my mouth. I think that's the thing. We've had enough whiskey now that we have to be strict on these things. Oh, yeah. We not know We know what a good whiskey feels like. Uh, 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 we know what we mean when we say good, right? Yeah. Again, and to me, it's not too good. quick it's to lavish just high okay. scores. Exactly. To me, it's just okay in the yeah. mouth. Uh, you no, know what, Dave? Change good to great. Then Great. we're going to okay. be like, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. Then we're going to be right. we're going to be strict with that. Good, yeah. just meh. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. It's not great. Okay, I'm going to change any time I've said the word "good" to "great" in any yeah. of the questions. This is the Tony the Tiger rule, everyone. Yeah. 
Um, okay, good. Right. So, are you comfortable with alcohol, in, every, alcohol level in your mouth? We both said yes. Uh, does it taste? Everyone. Does it taste <laughs> great? Does it taste great? No, not for me. Tastes it, good. It tastes good. It doesn't taste great. Yeah. It's nice. It's all, yeah. That's the thing. You got nice is good. Does it taste great? No. Not enough to get. Not enough to give it a point for that. It's nice. It's but nice. maybe the maybe the fifteen year tastes great. In yeah. which case. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Otherwise, we're going to be just scoring everything, you know, with points all over the shop. Exactly. Is it easy to drink? Very. Very easy to drink, isn't it? It's very oh, you can't, easy to drink. can't argue that with that. It, it goes down very easy. Would yeah. you like another sip? I've had several. Yeah. I've had several as well. I'm going to say yes. yes I would like that. another sip. Yeah, I would like and another sip. And I know sip. what you mean. Sometimes you get some and you're like, mm, no, I'm, I'm going to, you kind of let it savour it. Because maybe mm. it might be a bit strong. There might be some notes in there you're not really into. You know, you need to come back to it later. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting, isn't it? Because just because we're saying it doesn't taste great doesn't mean we won't like another sip. I think that's the interesting... Yeah. The thought I've just had is, did you want to add water? But sometimes that's not a negative bad or thing. A positive. Yeah, no, no, exactly. I think I don't think... It... No. We should just have it as it is. Uh, yeah. yeah, as it is. We're doing this based on as is. I think that could come in later. Anyway, do you enjoy the aftertaste? Now, here's here's where I'm going to say no. I don't like the aftertaste, but I do like the taste in my mouth, which is why I keep on having another sip. Oh, okay. So you want to refresh that taste? I want to refresh the taste that I was enjoying, but the aftertaste isn't amazing for me. Again, I'm going to rephrase the question. Is the aftertaste great? <laughs> it's not great. It's not great. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Would you like another glass? I'm all right. <laughs> if I'm honest, I'm all right. I think this is why it's last of the year. It's nice, but I haven't been like... What, like what when, else you got on your shelf? Yeah. There's other things I go to. Yeah, exactly. We might be going back to that. That might be a question later on. But I've not yeah, been yeah. like, Danny, try this when he's yeah, been coming exa- on. No, exactly. I think that's a, that is a question for later it's on. It's actually sure. more of a later on in the evening... I'll give him, maybe if he wants some, I'll give him some of this so he's not drinking the, the good stuff when he's drunk, if you know what I mean. Yeah, so he's appreciating yeah. the good stuff. You know, if I don't have anything like a Buffalo Trace or something I can give him, I might give him a bit of a bone more. Yeah, um, exactly. But um, it's got a slight ashy, not ashy, maybe an ashy peat. It's not an aftertaste though. It's, it's more smoky than peaty. I'm putting this down to, which I like. Yeah. I, I do like a smoky one rather than a full peat. But yes, I, I probably will. Well, after what I just said, it's probably no for a, I would have another glass. It's more like, if this was the only bottle in the room, then yeah. But I'd probably put it back and go for something else. Yeah. Not because it's bad. It's just, you know, it's, it's okay. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Does it feel like an experience? Not for me. No. Does it make you say, oh my, not for no, me? No, Do you want to give it any bonus points? Taste-wise, no. Yeah. No, no. bonus. How, how many are allowed? In well, it's up now? to seven. So I, it's I actually, up to seven. Yeah, I actually, I actually think it wouldn't, you know, maybe one one point for taste because it's not nasty. Um, I'm going to give it a bonus point for the, that smokiness I like. Oh, interesting. I respect wood. Now mm. here's a category which we've we've kind of stolen from Jeff Whiskey. I think it's an important one, and we something we talk about all the time. Value for money. I think it's. Uh, you agree? Do you think oh, that's absolutely. Imp- oh, that's a big one. Yeah. Yeah. Big one. So the the four, I got four questions for this, Nick. Yeah. Right. So, do you think the price is reasonable for the whiskey? And by that I mean you have to take into account the process, the amount available, and stuff like that. So sometimes a, a whiskey is reasonably priced because there's only a hundred bottles of it. Yeah. So it could be a higher price, but th- you know that it can still be reasonable, even though it's a high price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, yeah, you got to you got uh, yeah, take into in, consideration, right? you know, the process of that. You know, yeah. the size of the distillery, um, sure. how many bottles, all that kind of stuff. Is it from a, you know, it might be from an independent bottler who've been aging one cask for however long. That's taken a Absolutely. lot of effort. You've got to That's take that take, into account. Haven't you? It's all going to be taken into account. Right? Would you pay? For this much for the whiskey for your own collection, that's a biggie. I think that's a, that's a. And then there's a separate question: Would you buy this as a gift for someone? Because there has been times when we said, 
I wouldn't buy I, I wouldn't have this for myself. That's too much for me. But I would buy it for someone else as a treat because I know they'd appreciate it. The example I'm giving is the Lagavulin Distillers, mm-hmm. where we both said I, w- I wouldn't feel the need to buy this for myself at that price. But I don't object to buying it for that price for someone else who likes Lagavulin. Yeah, yeah. It's like I bought you the uh, Bullet Ten Year Old because I knew yeah. you like Bullet. I thought oh, I'll get him the Ten. That's a little step up. That's a nice gift. It's a nice you know? gift. But yeah, the Lagavulin, yeah, you're right. It was the uh, distiller's edition. So sometimes you would buy it for a gift, but you wouldn't buy it for yourself. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah, it's not like I want to pick up another bottle of it for myself and, you know, sit and watch a movie. That's not the kind of whiskey it is. It's more of an event whiskey, which you might yeah. give as a gift. It was a gift to us, you know, yeah. it? so. But no, it's, it's very important. And finally, uh, would you feel comfortable recommending this bottle to someone based on the price alone? Right. So, oh, sorry, based with based on the experience and the price, would you feel comfortable recommending? Because sometimes you can recommend an expensive whiskey to someone because you know actually it's worth it's value for money. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, if you buy that, you're not going to be disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Some things spring to mind straight away. Obviously, the Westland American Oak for me worth yeah. the money, but there's the Garyana worth the money. You know, you're talking Westland. It's got a bit cheaper now, but the American Oak was 65 quid. I think that's well worth the 65 quid. Is it worth spending, you know, an extra 100 quid for the Garyana, for example? You know, I don't know if I'd recommend it. Yeah. Again, it's lovely. We all like it. But uh, yeah. no, you're right. I, I, and that's going to be a personal preference. For me, I would, because I think it's that good. But I, uh, that's going to be the, the, the great thing about this is going to be differentials between the two of us. And we'll factor that in. I will figure out the way of averaging it, which should be difficult. Right. <laughs> so, and then, and then I think, I think up to five bonus points for this, Nick. What do you reckon for value for money? It's a biggie, isn't it? But then, you, <laughs> or do we want to, should we just go back to three bonus points? I don't know. It depends on you, mate. You're doing the maths on this one. No, it doesn't really matter. Do we think that visually, v- the visuals got seven points in total? Mm. Smell got 10, in the mouth got 16. Where should value for money be in that category? Should it have the same amount of weight as visual, smell, in the mouth? What do we feel value for money is is important in terms of our scoring system? Um, I'm, well, I'm looking at your next category, which is other. It seems to think, do with being experienced and stuff. But would that be like before value for money, if you know what I mean? Especially because the final thing is, would you spend money on it? You know, you can have an experience, but it could be drinking somebody else's or something like that. Um, again, we'll get onto that in a second, but I'm just trying to see if, I'm, if I might get a bit confused with these two categories But it doesn't. Together. But it, does, it doesn't matter though. That's my point. There's certain things I think should get... So I actually think you should have less bonus points for this then. Yeah. Two, two, yeah. We'll call it two bonus points and this category is out six because I think you're right. We cover this in, uh, in other sections. Yeah. Right. So would you like to know so, how much this bottle of whiskey is? Hey, I would love to know how much this <laughs> bottle of whiskey is. How much is this bottle of Bowmore? This bottle of Bowmore, 12-year-old Isla Scotch whiskey, is 30-odd 30, 30, 30 quid? It's £36.95 on the whiskey okay. exchange. Again, other it will vary in other places, such as supermarkets with special cards and stuff. But there we go. That's for a 70 centilitre as well. 40% ABV. Take that into consideration. You know, would you be able to water it down? No, not really. Do we think this is a reasonable price for this whiskey? I think so. I think it's quite reasonable. It's a single malt. It's, uh, you know, you got your 12 year on it. You got, you know, again, that doesn't matter, but nice to know everything in there is at least 12 years old. Um, Taste wise, I'd buy other things for 36 quid. I think that's why I'm bumping on this. Yeah. I don't think it is reasonable for the... At the moment, the only thing I've really enjoyed is the smell, and I know I'm getting that elsewhere. Okay. So I'm going to... I'm not giving it a point for do I think it's reasonable. I think I don't think it's expensive, but I don't think it's reasonable for, for what I'm getting. I think right. if this was below 30, yeah, I'd be like, yeah, okay, it's reasonable. I think taking in consideration everything, then yes. But with the taste, I'm going to go no, because I'd rather have something else. Okay. I'm going no. Would you pay this much whiskey for your own collection? Me? I, no, I wouldn't. I have, but to be honest, I wasn't going to buy another bottle. Well, I think that answers a question, right? Yeah. Uh, would you buy this as a gift for someone based on the value? Um, if I was on the way to the party and I didn't have a gift yet and there was nothing else in the shop, I would pick this up. But no, not as a first choice. 
I, I, I was never looking up Beaumores for presents for people. No. And I've had this for about a year. So, you know. Yeah, and again, there, might be, there, there might be other Beaumores where, that's, where that is the case, but, but yeah, I'm not feeling it with this. Yeah, would you feel... Then you, would, you're going up to the... Right, the price jump. Let's just look at this. The 12, this 36.95. The price jump to the 15, extra three years in X sherry casks. This is all in X bourbon. You're talking 61.95. Right, so you... That's a hefty, hefty That's jump. a hefty jump. That is a hefty jump. Yeah. Sure, would, you, uh, would you feel comfortable recommending this bottle to someone based on the price? Again, I'll go for other things. So I'm going to go for a no. Okay, it's nice. But again, it's a smoky thing again. You know, who's going to like the smoke? There are other factors in that. But uh, no, I so, wouldn't do that. So, so bonus points? Emily, you're on offer? Two. Two? No. I, actually think, not... I think we should give more bonus points. I think we should have up to four. I think we'll go four. Yeah. Four I'll give points. it one. I'll give it one in that and then. Just because I, you know, you got the history it's not behind it. And it's not know. expensive. It's not expensive. No. It's not expensive. I think, yeah, I think it's hard no, to say. Like, you know, once you go to the 60s, then you really got to think about it. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, let's go with that. Just go with one for me. All right. Okay. So this is this, this now we get the other section, right? Or, or MISC. Miscellaneous. Yeah, we need or, a more catchy title for that. Yeah, I, I don't know what the title should be, Nick. Um, I was wondering, vibe? does it... Should uh, we go with Vibe? Um, I don't know. Do you, does it give you a tingle? The whiskey tingle? Tingles. Uh, we'll call it Tingles, right? Yeah. So, Tingles. Question one. I know it's come up before, like twice, but I still think the overall impression is, was it an experience? Was the whole thing an experience? For me, this wasn't. No. The whole package was not an experience. We'll, 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 but uh, Sorry, we'll do that at the end. Do you want to buy another bottle is the other one of the questions? I know that you might think that comes into value for money, but I think it's a, a separate point. Uh, if you had a friend over who wanted to be introduced to whiskey, would you pull this off your shelf and say, oh, try this? I think that's a really good question. Cause would you be I... excited for them to try it? Yeah, exactly. Um, I've answered that already. Yeah. Do, do you wish that this whiskey was on your shelf in your local pub? Okay. I think that's a good one. Did it live up or better your expectation or exceed or exceed? Did it either live up or exceed your expectations of okay. what this whiskey should be? Okay. Yes or no? Does it give you the heebie-jeebies? <laughs> Is there any other question? You you said you've got other other thoughts on this, on this tingles section. Not shingles, tingles. Uh, it's more just like, I don't know, just general excitement, really. You know, do you want to like come in in the morning and like just have a look at the bottle on your shelf? Does it look good up there? Does it make you excited? You know, if you got it in a as a gift, would you be like, Yay. oh, that's a good one. I think that's a good one. If you received it, what kind of <laughs> what kind of smile would you give? Back? Would you have to fake it? Would yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, but we have to turn that into a negative, into a positive. So, uh, would you be happy to receive this as a gift? Would you be excited? Happy would or excited? You would you voluntarily like? Be excited or involuntary. You, that's involuntary. Or, uh, would you put it on your Christmas list? Oh, that's a biggie. Is that the same question though? Uh, is that that's a different question, isn't it? I think I think that's a different question. So, if if, <laughs> you, if someone surprised you as a as a gift, I think that's one question. If you were bought this without knowing, yeah, would you be happy about it? Mm, yeah. Are you saying happy or excited? Oh, you've got to be excited. No, yeah. Happy is just happy because I've got a bottle of whiskey. I'm always going to be happy if I get a bottle of whiskey. Would you be excited? <laughs> Thanks. Would, <laughs> I, th I think, do you know what? I think, I, think, I think it should be happy. Just happy? Happy because I think the next question answers, answers this. The next question being, would you like it? Would you put it on your own Christmas list? Because right. I think that's, that's the like, yeah, but oh, yeah, that's, that's like a, that. Yeah, but... Um, I don't know. I don't know how many bottles of whiskey you put on your Christmas list. What? But I never anyway. put anything on my Christmas list. No, I put because I, I, I've I, got enough whiskey. But well, but I, if I, I only have one usually. Mm. Yes. So that's the thing. Is it? Does it top your top whiskey? Well, well I think that's a good question. Isn't that's it? definitely worth a bonus. Is it like? Well, are we? Then, I think we're then doing overall, but overall bonus. This would then be overall bonus points. I think you can go up to ten here. Oh, definitely. I think like you should give five points to, for it. Is it like your all time favorite? You know, does this top, you know, am I going to be bumping the Westland American Oak for this on my Christmas list next year on my birthday right. list? Well, I think, I think that's up to you of how you dis distribute your own bonus points in that regard. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 
Are we earning right. an even number of points yet? <laughs> I've done, I'm, I'm, I want to. You're going to divide it I'm, and then oh, make yeah, a percentage. It it's going to be a percentage thing, isn't it? Yeah, it'll be all right. All right, so shall we answer the Tingles questions for the Bowmore? Okay. Was it an experience? <laughs> the Tingles. Um, no. Well, no. was it a good experience? A great experience, but great in there again. All right. Was it a great Self-wise. experience? It, you know, you can have really bad experiences. Good point. You know, you know those happen. No? No. It was not a great experience. Do you want another bottle? No. No? If you had a friend over who wanted to be introduced to whiskey, <laughs> would you give it a, a try? I would not. No. <laughs> Did, do you wish this was on your shelf in your local? No. Did it live up or exceed your expectations? Um, I was expecting a lot more, actually. I remember when I bought it, I was really excited. And again, it's been there for a year. I've drunk it, but it's not like... I'm going to say no on that one. Yeah. No. If you received this as a gift, would you be happy? Yes, I'd be happy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm it's gonna... not like if I received... Oh, I don't know. There are there are other things which I'll be yeah. like... <laughs> it happened to me recently. <laughs> we won't go into it. Yeah. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks so much. Um, it was a lovely gift, but they, yeah, they didn't know that I wouldn't like it. But anyway, I'm not going to say yes. I don't think I would be particularly enamoured by having this. As, I'd be like, oh God, I could do without that. What if you got a gift? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, I, oh yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, yes, I'll be, um, yes, a point for me, yeah. Would you put this on your Christmas list? No. No. Any bonus points at all? You've got up to 10 here, so... Um, up to 10 bonus points? Up to 10 bonus points. Um, the only thing I can think of, again, because I was looking at overall experience, I looked to their website, and their website's very good. They have a lot on their oh, website well, about... Okay. Well, do you want to add that? Do I would you wanna... like to add that, yeah. Do you like a question on that, would you? I would like that. As in, like, because we remember our experience with Woodsman where I went on the website and there's nothing and it's horrible and there's just slogans planted all over the place. All right, so you would like a specific question based on... I reckon overall brand, including overall website. Overall brand, overall, include... Uh, so, but what's the question? Um, or, or do ex, you want to get... Ex, extracurricular activity options. Do, do we like <laughs> the... Ex, do we like... Further reading. Do we fur- like the further reading? Further reading. There it okay. is. okay. So you're giving that a yes on this I'm one. I'm giving that a massive yes because their website is pretty good. It's got their whole process on there. And even if they give you loads of stuff on there, if you want to go visit Isla, like the best places okay. to go, the transport, where to, you know, where to stay, you know, it's, it's pretty good. I was impressed with that. I wasn't expecting that at all. So yeah, that gets a point for me. All um, right. And it might Lovely. get some bonuses from me for that as well. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, cool. well, yeah. Were you giving it any bonus points? How many were there? Up to 10, mate. Up to 10. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give it three because of the extracurricular further learning. Nice. nice. Because, okay. you know, I'll probably go back to it, to be honest. Um, all right, cool. Oh, no. Well, yeah. I'm not <laughs> going to give it... <laughs> no, I uh, didn't expect you to. I'm going to give it one bonus point just because I don't think it's bad. Does that yeah. make sense? <laughs> so, I don't... If it was yeah. bad, it wouldn't get any. Yeah. Okay. I'm giving it a bonus point because it's whiskey. <laughs> All right, okay, so our total should be out of 60. Okay, that's not too bad. No. I'm going to pour right. myself another glass. Did I say I want to pour myself another glass? Uh, no, I didn't, but I am because it's here. And we, oh, need right, to, okay. we need to talk about it some more. But right, normally okay, I probably enough. would have uh, gone for something else. Anyway. 60, right. eh? What have I got? All right, let me, well, let me, uh, oh, let me tell you. All right, well. I'll tell you what, I'll just put, I'll put a sting here, eh? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Love that whiskey. Okay, Nick, we've got a system then. We've got a system which is based out of 60 points, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always round it out as a percentage. Do, okay. do we feel that's the way forward? I think percentage is good, because, yeah, it's just easy to understand, isn't it? I mean, this well, is quite... 60's br- better than 24. This is but, quite know, but- brutal, if I'm, if I'm honest, then. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'd be intrigued to kind of maybe then do the other system, like the okay. whiskey exchange system with it as well. Not now, everyone. That'd be really boring. You've um, given like, it 31.67%. Percent? And I've given it 23.33%. <laughs> okay. It's not that bad. It's just been a massive failure. 
Well, I th- no, I, I think it's because our bonus points are, are really, really quite high. weighted. They're really yeah. weighted, and it didn't get many bonus points. All right, okay. Yeah, we need to lay off the the bonus points. You you want do you want to decrease? I don't want to do it now. To- I don't want to. No, do it no. Now. Well, I, well, I'll, I, I will do it now. I think oh, if okay. I'm if shall I take off what two bonus points on what from each over- one? I'm going I'm to take off five bonus points from the overall. Right, so we had an up up to ten on the tingles. Hmm. You gave it. You gave it three. Do you still want to give it three? Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, no, I don't know. Just yeah, fine. Two. Can't we just one. like have a one one bonus one. point at the end of every all of them or something? Just one bonus point at the end of. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Bonus point. Yeah. Just does a it get bonus, bonus point. Just get. Does, does it get? It the, does it get the bonus point? Yeah. And then you can just uh, weigh it up. Weigh it up. All right, so we are you giving it in terms of tingles? Are you giving it the bonus point? I'm not giving it the bonus point. Right, in terms of value for money, are you giving it the bonus point? Uh, it's fine. Yeah, go on then. I just want to get it up a bit. All right, <laughs> I, um, I don't want to give it a bonus point. Fine. In terms of in the mouth, are you giving it the bonus point? I'm not. No. Nose, are you giving it the bonus point? Do you know what? I'm going to yes, give it the bonus uh, yeah. point for the nose. Yeah, give it the nose. Give it a nosing. For, all right, this, this changes everything, Nick. Right. Um, visually, are you going to give it a bonus point? Um, no. No. Right. Okay. Let me get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. All right. Obviously. One, two, three, four, five, six. pocket for you. Okay. Don't you reach into my pocket and see what it is. Well, this was an experiment, David. Okay. So our total now, Nick, is out of 35. Wow, that went right down, didn't it? Yeah, getting rid of all those bonus points, all right? Would, and you've given it 42.86, and I've given it 30, 31.43. Percentage? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go with it and see what happens. I mean, if, if yeah, I mean, if you also want to, I mean, that's based on answering these questions and each to eat within each of these five categories as a bonus point. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah. think this is. I think this is harsh. I think this is. It's going to be difficult to score well. I think we're going to find that the average is around between forty and fifty and sixty percent. Okay. Okay. Well, you know that's going to sound harsh, but I think it's there. Once we go given, over that, it gives us plenty. When we when something's good, it really makes it obvious yeah. that it's good. And I think that's if you think about in an exam. The pass rate is 60. Exactly. Well, we th- think about when we went to uni. I remember when we went to uni being really annoyed that uh, a good score was like, it was at 100. No one ever got over 75. Do you know anyone ever got over 75? Uh, no, no. No, was, most no. average score was around, a good score was up 60 oh, and no. above. No, I got. I did get one. I got an 82 once on my Oh, well, uh, there you go. Well, yeah. But that, that was studies. once. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Like once. Got an 82. Yeah. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Yeah, I mean... Same. But but you know uh, if you were okay you got between you know fifty but yeah. or you know sixty. But it's going to show. I think it's going to fluctuate a lot. That's the thing. When something's going to be good, all the you know it's going to it's going to push it right up. Um, yeah. But yeah, we go with it. But what he says all you know because I you know, I listen to Whiskey Cast most weeks and he he has his scoring system and he's very rarely in the low eighties. Let's put it that way. He's always high eighties right. if not low nineties. You know, but then he does have the cream of the crop. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we've given ourselves leeway to to go big. Yes, perhaps perhaps we've been a bit, bit too strict. But this whiskey, let's be honest about this whiskey. I don't think it's amazing, Nick. It's no. it's all oh, no, right. It's not amazing. No, we started uh, with a, a, an okay whiskey. You know? Yeah, it's we just okay, nice isn't it? It's it's okay, and I think that's I think that's obviously going to feel like we're being a bit harsh, but it, it's, it's not amazing, it's not, is it? It's, it's not, not amazing. amazing. It's fine. I want to I want to try their uh, their fifteen. But I'm not going to spend 60 quid on it at the moment. I might try it in the bar. It's introduced me to Bowmore, and I might go further. They've got some yeah. extravagant bottlings. Maybe we should move on to the bottle. M- maybe we should move on to about this whiskey. Um, All right, okay. Now. So let's move um, it. So I think we've got a nice scoring system, Nick. In, in conclusion to the scoring system, I think yeah. we've got a nice scoring system. We've got something to start with. Something to start with. We can always readdress it and say scoring system part two. Yep. Or Mark Two, if if we feel like we're not getting anywhere with it, but yep. um, I think I think on the whole, I think this is going to be a fair system. It's that, honest to it's us. It's going to be honest. It's honest it's to not, us, exactly. It's honest and to we, us. It's what we think about when we are looking at whiskies, right. and that's the most important thing, everyone. So the aggregate, actually, how's that gone down? 
your mark's just gone down and I'm confused. Oh no, I think I got I think I'd got it wrong before Nick. Oh. You actually gave it forty percent. Forty. And I got thirty three thirty three point four one. But actually, the whiskey and things score for the Bowmore twelve year is thirty five point seven percent. Well there we go. Spreadsheet go. started. Spreadsheet has been started. Boom. There you go. There right, go. so I but yeah, it seems harsh, but I think I think it's actually quite fair. Yeah. If you know, it's it's okay. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. But um, the thing is, would your scores go up once I've told you a bit more about the whiskey, Dave? Well, or would quite they go possibly. Down? Quite would possibly. I? Well, I'll ask you at the end. Anyway, let's go on with that. Let's go on with that bit. Go on, then. Tell, Tell me more about it. Why they ever let two Englishmen have a whiskey podcast, I'll never know. But more. Right, let's race through this. It's quite long already, this one, isn't it? Um, Bow more, go back forever. As it says on your bottle, you don't have one. As it says on my bottle, established 1779. So this is one of the original ones on Isla. It was actually the first Isla distillery to get a license um, back in the day. That would have been around 1823 during the Excise Act. Anyway, I won't go into that right now. Um, they still do everything in their traditional ways. As I said earlier on, they're very proud of their vaults. Um, which is where they mature their whiskey, essentially. It's like stonewalled warehouses. Um, they call them number one vaults. Um, they're very proud of it, and they think it gives it um, that sea air characteristic, all that kind of stuff. Um, what have we got here? They commonly use ex-American oak bourbon barrels, like this is. I think it's just full maturation, but well, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm definitely sure. I'm certain it's his 12 <laughs> year um, in an ex bourbon. Um, if you buy the 15 year, said earlier, the uh, they stick it into ex sherry for another three years. That's why that one interests me a little bit. They have some non age statement stuff, but it's always at least nine years old. Interesting as well. Jim McEwen, we've heard that name, haven't we? Before, yeah, we have. Yes, he started at Beaumont. Well, not sure when he started, but he started officially when he was 15 years old as an apprentice cooper there. Uh, I think before that, he started, you know, skipping school and going there just to help out, or at least going after school. And his mum used to get really annoyed um, that he was spending too much time at this distillery. You can find out more about him on the Water of Life film. Um, it's really interesting. He's a bit of a legend, and he went on to, like, help re-establish or relaunch Brook Laddie and a few others as well. Bit of a legend. So, yes, what else do they have? They've got a 12 year, a 15 year, 18. That's 94 quid for the 18. That's a lot of money. If people remember, we talked about the Black Bowmore in episode 83 with Mark Littler. It's a bit of a collector's item, which has shot through the roof in terms of price. If you want to get, get an old bottle of this, go back to 83 to listen to that. But it ranges from 25 to 27.5 thousand pounds for a bottle of that. <sighs> yeah, I, I saw this at Heathrow actually. The Black Bowmore. I think so. Yeah, I think they had like it was in a case. It was like right. really right. Okay, in Terminal Five, I think, and it was like, oh, look, they've got that, and it was yeah, yeah. They they were advertising that they had it, and they had one bottle in a case behind the thing, and it was in a very fancy box. Yeah, I may I'm, have that wrong, but I'm pretty sure it was this. No, they have a fancy box. It's well over fifty years old now. The ones they're putting out, or the ones they've, you know. They're launching or whatever. They also have like some Aston Martin editions. Got yeah, like I've a, seen that as well. That looks, yeah. that looks pretty cool. Yeah, like, I think it was, they did one with a piston. I think it was them who did the piston one. But they do a 10, a 15 and an 18. I think the piston one might be something even more than that because that was a really nice bottle. They yeah. got some really nice stuff. This is the entry, entry level. They do a 10 year, which is a travel retail. Um, but the 12 is the start of the core. But they go up to, it's, they've got some old old liquid, shall we say. But yeah, so that's the uh, that's a little bit of a quick rundown on uh, on, I appreciate on that. Do you know what though, Nick? That hasn't changed my thoughts at all. I think if a if a whiskey company is going to those high ends, their core range should be a lot better than this. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be brutal about that. I think if mm. if they want to, if they're going to try and entice me to spend sixty quid on the on the fifteen, or the black bow more being. 40 odd thousand or whatever which clearly I'm never going to be in the market for but if you w want to get me excited make your core range amazing right do you not agree with that um I don't know I think they're just for two different markets 
you know. Yeah, but but then then it doesn't work. That then that's you got your branding wrong. Um, well, I, th- I don't know. I think you do. I think I think if you you know you, you can have a a budget whiskey, but put it out under a different brand. Hmm. If you're gonna mm. if you're gonna put the word Bowmore on something and and expect it to mean excellence to the point where you're selling a fifty thousand pound bottle of whiskey with the name Bowmore on, then when someone sees it in a bar and goes, "Oh, I've, I've read about that Bowmore," they've got work version. That then the the cheapest version should still be better than what we've had today. I see your point, but for some people, this smoky taste is what they love. It's not what I love. I, I love. I like a peat. This wasn't really a peat. It was more of a smoky thing. Um, but uh, they really, they probably lap it up. I can see why this could be someone's, you know, go to because it's nice and cheap. Again, smoky. Do I prefer this to? I know it's a blend, but Johnny Walker Black. I think so. You know, and that's. I know this is a bit more money. Uh, maybe I'll. Sh- yeah, whatever. Anyway, what they say on the box here? They're selling it by history. You know. Today, as it was then, established 1779. But, but you know, that, that to me is, is where it's wrong, you know, uh, that where they've got the branding wrong. Mm. Like, if they're doing that, then they're also doing that with the, with the black. That's what they're saying. The blow more black is also a historic thing, and that's supposed to be worth £50,000. What I was thinking was comparing this to Glenn Fiddick. Glenn Fiddick okay. have done a big rebrand the last few years, and it's more contemporary and it's more attractive on the eye to have those colourful boxes on your shelf. Similar price. Similar price. And it goes back, you've still got the history yeah. and all kinds of stuff. I've bought more gl- bottles of Glenfiddich than I have Bowmore. Yeah. Maybe they need a bit of a rebrand. Well, for me, but... Uh, I am almost certain that this doesn't reflect their higher priced products. But if that's the case, they've really got it wrong. Hmm. We'll see. And it doesn't, I'd like to try it, them. I don't want to pay for them. But that's the like thing. That, but that's my point though, Nick. <laughs> well, that's my point. I wouldn't be able if, to. If they got this right, if they got this right, we'd be excited about going, oh, imagine what the 60 quid one's like then. Mm. And whereas I'm yeah. not, I'm not now going, oh, I really, really am keen on trying that 15 year old now. Yeah. Not at all. So I actually think our, maybe our score is actually really fair on this. Maybe. We'll find well, out gonna, as we try more lot. whiskey. Yeah, but, we're going to stick to it. Um, Just because it's not up in the eighties, whatever. We'll, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, this hasn't blown me away, and no. for a, for a brand that has got this history, as we've talked about, and with those higher prices, I think I think actually they've got it wrong. They flat mm. out got it wrong, and it's not that it's bad. We've had worse whiskies, but but again, it probably hasn't changed in like two hundred and forty years. Something which like that. isn't a good idea. I don't know. They've done all right. They're still around for them. Just because we haven't, you know, been yeah, but they're blown still away around because they can sell a bottle of whiskey for fifty grand to some idiot who's got that much kind of money. I don't think that's where they're making their money off. It is I reckon like they're making a lot of money off that. Of course, they're making a lot of money. How many, off it, how but many it's not going to be their bread and butter, is it? How many? How many bottles of the twelve? It's going to be shifting these. How many, how many bottles of that do you have to just for one bottle of black? Think of it in those terms. Yeah, of course they're going to make some money from that, but. Without this selling well, then they're going to be, you know... I, go I, I, I would, if I was uh, Suntory, I'd be concerned about this brand. Really? If if they're not going to change it. But I'm, I'm not letter. Suntory. Write them a letter. I do. Just say, you've got to be careful here. Yeah. You know, there's other, there's other distilleries opening up on Isla now. There's other things which are definitely capturing the imagination more, like Brook Laddie, that are doing things that are more accessible with better branding... That are going to take over soon, and and yes, I'm sure. You know, I mean, look at Johnny Walker's numbers are down. I wonder, I wonder what Bowmore's numbers are like at the moment in terms of their core range. Who knows? Mm, who knows? Maybe we should look that up. But uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> well, if you knew where to find that, then uh, be be my guest. There you go. Right. Anyway, yeah. this has been a long show, but I yeah. think Nick, I think this has been a, a important episode for us. I think this is a. And, and anyone listening, if you've got thoughts on what we've said, have we missed out something? If we missed something key out to our scoring system, would you think, do you know what? You've missed an obvious question based on either things that we always say or things that we've done. Have we missed something? Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. We'll see. Answers we'll on see. the postcard, please. You're listening to Whiskey and Things with Nick Kent and Dave Giles. <sighs> Boom. Hope you enjoyed our 101. Our oh, Whiskey 101 show. It wasn't yeah. really Whiskey 101. Could have been, but, you know, I didn't plan it. Tasting Scores 101. But yeah. if, uh, yeah, if, if you have your own scoring system, we'd love to hear that as well, just to see uh, see what you do. Yeah, yeah, if you, yeah. If, you, if you're bothered by that kind of thing, maybe you're not. 
Um, but thanks for listening. Just enjoy we'll, it, everyone. Yeah, thanks for listening. We'll be Just back next it. week, I'm sure. Yes, for 102. Is that how it works? I think so. Right. After I 101, we so. go to 102. Yeah, we can. We can do a 0.5 if you like. You know, <laughs> make it as uh, awkward <laughs> as our scoring system. <laughs> Well, I've got to work on an app now for you now, and I promise you an app. You did promise me an app. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll work on that. Want to invest in an app? No. Want to invest <laughs> in an app? No. And on that note, the Angels have had their share. And so have you, listeners. God, you've had enough this week. Woo. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming. coming. Whiskey and Things has been brought to you 